Apostle Dr. Faith Walters received the call from the Lord to begin a ministry that would empower individuals for success in the kingdom of God. And Lord God, we thank you for being such a great God. Lift we thank you for being a loving God, a gracious Welcome God. Welcome to Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Located in Mount Vernon, New York, and online at wamo.org. Join Apostle Dr. Faith Walters, live on Sundays and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for divine service, empowerment, worship, prayer, words of encouragement, Bible education, fellowship and more. This broadcast is a production of WAMO Media Network. Thank you for joining us. If you want to support this ministry, please subscribe, like, share this video, and leave a comment. It's easy and will cost you nothing. If you want to donate, please visit www.wamo.org forward slash give. You can watch our services via our website, live.wamoe.org, on television via Carib Vision, at caribvision.tv, and on the YouTube and Facebook apps. You are the Jesus, we exalt you Jesus, I love you Jesus. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, but look at the Father. Hallelujah. He said he wasn't worthy. Young man said he wasn't worthy. But look at the Father. He ain't worried about that. Uh, he said, uh, oh, Spirit of God. Uh, he said to his servants, uh, chop, chop. <laughs> Bring out the best robe. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, and put it on him. Uh, and put a ring on his hand. Uh, and sandals on his feet. Hallelujah, hallelujah, let us rejoice, rejoice, for my son was lost and he came back home, you can imagine, hallelujah, when you give your heart to the Lord, hallelujah, you out there doing your thing and you come back home, you can imagine how the heavens, the angels in heaven are rejoicing, hallelujah, Hallelujah. So the father was rejoicing and he appeared. He told him to, to appear a feast. Hallelujah. And he said, kill the best what you got and let us eat and be merry for this my son. I thought he was dead and he's alive again. He was lost and now he's found and they began to be merry. They began to dance. They began to rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My son has come home. Ah, oh, Jesus. That mother, that father, oh, that auntie, that uncle, that grandma, that grandpa. Hallelujah. Believe God that your son and your daughter have come home. Hallelujah. Get a dancing, get a shouting. Hallelujah. Even if we don't see it yet. Hallelujah. Get a dancing and shouting. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. That my son and my daughter is coming home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in Jesus. Rejoice. That what was lost is found. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Rejoice, 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 hallelujah. That what was lost is found. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm dancing. I made it sit down, but I'm dancing. In my spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm rejoicing that my son has come home, that my daughter come home, that my niece has come home, that my nephew has come home. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That my granddaughter has come home, my grandson has come home. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Rejoice right now. Even if you don't see it yet. Hallelujah. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, Spirit of God. Oh, Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to stop right here. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. 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 God is so good. Hallelujah. He is so wonderful. Hallelujah. He is a great God. Hallelujah. It don't matter how far you've gone. Hallelujah. He's got the arms open wide to receive you. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. It may be a part two to this message. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we magnify your name right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. I want to go back to that topic. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. But let me read something here. Holy Spirit of God. The Father, he provided a caring mother for his sons. He provided financial and emotional support for his sons. He gave them the blessing of a heritage. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. He guided but did not force his sons to conform. Hallelujah. He gave them room to fail and a place to return. Holy Spirit of God. Look at Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. He exercised mercy and grace toward his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He met his children more than halfway. Holy Spirit of God. He forgave. Holy Spirit of God. Those were keys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Oh, Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I want to stop here, but I got to say something about the older son. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. He got a little situation going here. He got a little angry. He got a little jets. He acted like the religious leaders. Holy Spirit of God. Oh, hallelujah. He don't explain everything. Holy Spirit of God. What happened to his brother? And he's been here all this time. I guess he tried to be the good kid, Holy Spirit of God, to say I got all the perfect things here. I'm doing everything that's right, Holy Spirit of God. So I am going to one that I be the chosen one, Holy Spirit of God. What you don't understand is that when God deals with you, he deals with the one that come back humbled, the one with a broken and a contrite heart. Hallelujah. The one Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That will be humble not so big for his britches. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He going to break it down and talk about what his brother had done. Holy Spirit of God. But the father said, son, you always with me and everything I have is yours. So you ain't got to put on nothing. You ain't got to put on no, no show for me. Uh, try to make everything so perfect uh, that you got this whole. Because you all got the heritage from me. Because both of you are my sons. Holy Spirit of God. And he said to his, his, his older son, it was right for me to rejoice. Hallelujah. It was right for me. Hallelujah. To be excited about your brother being lost. Holy Spirit of God. And now he came forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I want a word to share with mothers. And I'm going to share with fathers and grandmothers and, and grandfathers aunties and uncles, if you're the legal guardian over the children, Holy Spirit of God, if you've been praying for your children for years, Holy Spirit of God, there are some mothers and some grandfathers, Holy Spirit of God, have gone on before, Holy Spirit of God, but understand those who remain, 
Holy Spirit of God. No matter, oh, hallelujah, don't stop. No matter what's going on, no matter what it look like, keep on praying, keep on trusting God, keep on holding on to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't let go of his hand. Hallelujah. Then prayers that's already prayed up for the ones that's gone on before. Then prayers are coming forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, Spirit of God. A lot of times, if we raise our children right, Holy Spirit of God, ask the Lord to help you to raise your child. And if you raise them right in a nurture and admonition of the Lord, not allow and taking them to church day in and day out and think the church is going to raise your children. Ain't no church building should be raising your children because the Bible says ministry begins at home. Holy Spirit of God. If it begins in the household, it ain't going to the church building for them to teach you how to raise your child. Holy Spirit of God. When you go to church, to the church building, it should be a reinforcement of what you've been teaching. you teaching your children at home. Your job as a parent is to teach the word of God to the child. Hallelujah. Pray with that child. Pray over that child, Holy Spirit of God. And some of your mothers, when you're praying, some of y'all pray some evil prayers over your children. Understand what you're speaking out your mouth that's going to happen to your child you got to watch your mouth watch what you're saying holy spirit of god thank god some of the prayers even prayer that some mothers prayed it didn't come true praise the lord thank you jesus holy spirit of god understand hallelujah you got to pray some prayers that is encouraging the child holy spirit of god encouraging that child that no matter how far that child may go hallelujah that child that got to come back because the word of God is in their DNA the word of God is in their spirit the word of God is in their bloodlines Holy Spirit of God the word of God is in their veins Holy Spirit of God so you shouldn't have to worry about it. Holy Spirit of God, do your job and allow the Holy Ghost to take control of your children's lives. And those who didn't, who had some issues now, the children of God are true stray when they get older. Holy Spirit of God, for somehow you made a miss somewhere. Holy Spirit of God, but understand, God is saying, even if you ain't do it right when they were young, just begin to pray hallelujah and don't worry about it take your hands off of your grown men and your grown daughters holy spirit of god let the lord have his way leave them to the lord holy spirit of god because they got to come home hallelujah you keep on praying take your hands off stop enabling them stop helping them that's what the holy ghost is saying Stop helping your, your children, your grown children, giving them roof over their head. And they're grown enough. Uh, they don't want a job because you keep opening the door to them. Uh, why should they keep a job uh, when they could stay on the mommy's and daddy's roof uh, till they're 40, 50 years old? Uh, you ain't saying nothing. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're not going to take the responsibility. They're not going to be men. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you're still enabling them. Uh, you're still doing for them. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, as old as they are, you got to let go and allow God to have his place in their lives for one day. Once you let go and allow God, yes, they may be in the street. They may be in some, some, some dark place. They may be in the bush. It's okay. God will protect them wherever they are. Pray that prayer. Hallelujah. Pray for protection and take your hands off. And when you give it to God, don't 
take it back. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, this father, hallelujah, his son came to him. Uh, he ain't really say much. Uh, it didn't say that he he asked his father, his son, what he want the money for. He just gave it to him. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, and I know in uh, I believe in my spirit uh, that the father he may not understand, uh, but he prayed and he believed uh, that his son will come back home. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, so God is saying today, uh, it don't matter what's going on. Uh, it don't matter how far your children children may go. Uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, understand. Uh, but when uh, he came to himself, uh, hallelujah, but when uh, she came to herself, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, understand uh, that they got to answer. Holy Spirit of God, uh, answer to everything, uh, everything they've done in their body. Holy Spirit of God, uh, you got to stop worrying about it. Uh, Holy Spirit of God. Uh, God says uh, in, in, in Philippians 4, uh, Paul encouraged us, uh, 4 verse 6 to 7, uh, it says be anxious for nothing, uh, Holy Spirit of God, uh, but in prayer and supplication, uh, make a request, request be made known unto God, uh, and the peace of God, uh, will guard your hearts uh, and your mind in Christ Jesus, uh, so you shouldn't have to worry about nothing. Uh, he's telling you, uh, don't stress yourself. Holy Spirit of God, hold on to me. Hallelujah. This man did not worry about it. He kept on doing what he was doing. Holy Spirit of God, but yet his son, hallelujah, came to himself. Hallelujah. He allowed the Lord to do it. Praise the name of Jesus. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm encouraging you, mothers, fathers. Oh, Jesus. Grandma, grandpas, leave their children, your grown children alone. Allow the Lord, hallelujah, to, to, to intervene in their lives. Pray for them. Your job is to pray. Pray and not worry. Oh, Spirit of God. Because when you're worrying, you can't do nothing. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. And you keep on building them out of this. You keep building them out of trouble every chance you get. To. You keep building them out of prison. You keep building them out of the, the drug den. You build them out of the hospital. You build them out of the, the, the rehabilitation center wherever you get. To. You keep bringing them back home. The Lord says, why the Lord says to let go and allow him to have his way. Take your hands off. Take your hands off the children. Holy Spirit of God. They can't change with you consist consistently supporting them. They can't see they need to change. Holy Spirit of God. Until you let go. Take your hands off. Take your mouth off. If you're going to speak something positive, speak it good. Speak something out of your mouth. Speak positive. Holy Spirit of God. And pray and believe God. You can't do nothing anyway. Like I said before, you can't do nothing. Holy Spirit of God, and change will come when you let go and allow God to have his way. Holy Spirit of God, it may take some time and only reason why it's taking so long, because you got your hands on it. You got your hands all up in it. Holy Spirit of God, you're feeling oh, hallelujah, that's my child. He's a grown man. She's a grown woman. Ain't nothing you can do for them now. You can only leave them to God and time. Holy Spirit of God. And when you pray, pray and believe God. Hallelujah. Pray and fast. Hallelujah. And worship and rejoice. You can even start rejoicing. This man, Father, he rejoiced when he saw his son coming home. But I'm sure when he was out there waiting for his son, he was rejoicing that he going to come home. Hallelujah. So when he saw him afar off, of course, he's going to be more excited. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Rejoice, rejoice 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 hallelujah that your child is home your child has come home your child said he's sorry your child said 
Mommy and daddy, I'm sorry for how I treated you. Mommy and daddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, 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 for doing the things I did. Holy Spirit of God, I thank you for releasing me. Hallelujah. Here I am. I came to my senses. Holy Spirit of God, I'm ready now. I'm ready now to receive what the Lord has for me. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to to. To today, but understand that your child, hallelujah, will come to themselves one day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And like I said, some have not seen it. Oh, hallelujah, before they passed, but understand because they praise us sincere. James 5 16 says, The sincere, urgent prayer, earnest prayer of the righteous avail it much. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So as you're praying, you're praying faith. Hallelujah. Our theme this year is the just second Corinthians 5 7. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight. Holy Spirit of God. So believe that when your son and daughter, what they are going through, so long you take your hand off them, it don't matter how long it takes. Believe when you pray, hallelujah, that it is so. Hallelujah. They are coming back home. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm so thankful to the Lord today for somebody, Lord God, that's letting go and allow you to have your way in their lives. Holy Spirit of God, cover these children, God. Cover my children, Jesus. They out there, God. Hallelujah. I'm praying. I keep on praying and I keep believing, God, that they're coming to the fold. God, Jesus. They come into the fold, God. They come into the full acknowledgement of you, Jesus. And Lord God, all the children that's out there, God, that the prayer's been prayed for them, God. Mommy done died. Daddy done died. Grandma done died. Grandpa done died. I'm praying, God, that those children, Jesus, will come to themselves, God, in the name of Jesus. And come, oh God, Lord Jesus, repent Repentantly, God, being humble before you, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, let them realize, God, they ain't got to continue living like that. And I pray, God, that you cover them right now, whether they are Jesus, protect them from harm and danger, God. Just like how you protect this young man, Jesus. Thank you, oh God, for this message today, Jesus. Thank you for the terrible. Thank you, oh God, that you bring forth to bring your people around. Lord Jesus, let people, let us learn, God, if we say we love Christ, let us learn to trust you, God, let us learn, Lord Jesus, to worship you in the beauty of holiness, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, bless the name of Jesus, oh, Spirit of God, let's fast and pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, worship and adore the name of Jesus, Rejoice in the Lord, for your child has come home. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. They're coming away from that drug den. They're coming away, coming out of the gangs. Hallelujah. They were in prison for something they did not do. For they were little boys and little girls. They're coming out of that prison house. In the name of Jesus, the judge is overturning it. Holy Spirit of God, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your daughter or your son in prostitution, they're coming out right now. In the name of Jesus, believe it speak it hallelujah your son or daughter with a transgender situation homosexual situation believe it and receive it that they're coming out hallelujah hallelujah don't give up hope hallelujah hallelujah my brothers and sisters don't fret <clears throat> Holy Spirit of God. God said to tell you, take your hands off. Holy Spirit of God. He's got this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. The heavens rejoice when one soul 
come home. Hallelujah. When one soul uh, repent before Lord, before the Lord. Hallelujah. The angels rejoicing, and I'm rejoicing even now. Uh, hallelujah. Before I see it, uh, Holy Spirit of God, I'm rejoicing. Uh, Hallelujah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that God is doing a new thing. God is turning things around. He's turning things around right now. He's turning things around. There's a shift. A shift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your daughter, your son is coming home. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Your cousin coming home. Hallelujah. Your niece and nephew coming home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify your name, Jesus. Oh, Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name right now. Oh, Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. If you didn't know God today, if you don't know Jesus Christ today, allow him to come into your heart, cleanse you and make you clean. Surrender yourself to him. Just like how this young man surrendered himself to Jesus and he became humbled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. God is receiving you with open arms today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say yes to him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Allow God. Yes. Hallelujah. Look at the bottom of the cross. Allow him to come into your heart. Allow Jesus to come. Allow him to cleanse you and make you clean. If you want to rededicate yourself to him, hallelujah, so you can give it that peace which passes all understanding today. Hallelujah. Come, Jesus. Come to him now. Come to Jesus now. Hallelujah. He's opened up his heart to receive you today. The angel rejoicing, rejoicing, rejoicing that you have come home. You have come home. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you so much. And know that I love you and Jesus love you more. See you next time. Thank you for staying with us today. We invite you to come back again and join Apostle Faith Live on Sundays at 2 p.m. for Bible education and church services, and Wednesdays at 2 p.m. for Feature Wednesdays, where we share messages from other kingdom leaders from within the WAMO network. Are you a kingdom leader with a message of hope and inspiration for the children of God? Send us an email with your message to support at wamo.org or join the WAMO Media Network via our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Are you in need of prayer? Email prayer requests to support at wamo.org or join our prayer line, Monday mornings at 7 a.m. Lord God, we thank you for being such a great God. We thank you for being a loving God, a gracious God. If you need help to overcome low self-worth, heal your marriage, restoration through therapy for children, teens, individuals, and couples, book an appointment for therapy with Dr. Faith at our website, wamo.org forward slash counseling. You may also access self-help resources at our website, wamo.org forward slash resources. If you would like to become a member, volunteer, or partner with WAMO Outreach Ministries, send your email to support at wamo.org. Come as you are. Why you should join this ministry 1. To empower people for success in the Kingdom of God through Bible education 2. To provide support services for the upliftment and development of your community 3. 
to empower children and youth to increase their knowledge and earning potential by advancing their skills and professional capacity. 4. To provide solutions for families who need shelter, a place for worship, skills development, and access growth opportunities for community leaders. And 5. To provide support and a source of hope for senior citizens, ex-convicts, and people in need. It's easy to support this ministry, here is how you can help. Through tax-deductible giving, easily accessible everywhere via our website, at wamo.org forward slash give. You can give a one-time or monthly donation, or contribute funding to one of our programs. Become a member of our community or volunteer team, apply at our website, at wamo.org forward slash membership. Become a member of our network, and let us work together, to build and grow a strong, healthy community of Kingdom Advocates empowering people for success in the kingdom of God. Sign up at our website, wamo.org forward slash network. Other ways to join us and support the ministry. Subscribe on YouTube at Wamo Ministries, Apostle Faith Live. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Wamo Ministries. Contact us anytime at Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. P.O. Box 2077 Mount Vernon, New York 10551 Telephone, 914-699-2482 and email support at wamo, w-a-m-o-e, dot org Your support and generosity will positively change lives. The first book, Poems About My Self-Esteem, That's uh, it's on the website. It's on there for $12, and it's help you. If you have problems with low self-esteem, this book will certainly help you and touch you and make your life change. Okay, so yeah, I have one here that says, what is a smile? A smile lights up your day. It makes your face bright. It sends sunshine when there is pain. So, ah. Always keep a smile even when you're having a bad day. Smile a little. It makes the world go around. So even as you are going through, yes, girl, I was still smiling and going on same way. All right. When I'm in pain. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a powerful uh, book. The, 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 the poetry is very uh, short and to the point. But even though they're short, they're deep. So you got to take some time to really think about them and, and just get them in your spirit and let, let it get deep down in you and, and for you to really understand, you know, what it's trying to say to you. All right. And I have my my new book that that came out uh, in July and the book is Reborn. And, and this book is, is just talking about. The personal story about my journey from a place of despair, my place of darkness, to fulfilling God's purpose in my life. This book is also transform your life as well. It will make your life different. It it it, it shares uh, a, a, some, a, not even a, all of it, just some uh, a synopsis of some of the things I experienced while growing up in the church and growing up in in a family, you know, that I thought loved me and didn't realize uh, that I, I had to do it by myself, but because of God, he helped me to get through it, to bring me to a place of where I am today. So I am just book is to encourage you that if you are in a place of darkness and you are, are surrounded by people who are supposed to love you and they don't show you, demonstrate that love, know that God is there for you and take some time to pen your thoughts because you never know who's going to pick up your book one day. When you're gone from this, when it time has come, you're gone from this world. You're leaving legacies. These are things you're leaving behind for, for your loved ones to read. And you never know who will pick it up wherever they are. And we have the, the, the supernatural highway now that's everywhere, you know. So, you know, you'd be surprised where people find words that can help them. Get around, children. Get around. This is Sister Dungy coming to you from Mississippi by way of Jamaica, West Indies. How y'all doing 
today. Oh my God. Isn't God good all the time? Let me fix my hat. Oh, Jesus. Wow. I'm feeling good in my spirit, y'all. How y'all doing today? Yes, this is the Georgie reading Bible stories to children. Hey kids, listen closely to the story. Then join the Excel Kids game and play totally free, or ask your parents to register you as a member to play to win exciting rewards. For kids only, Saturdays at 8 a.m. and Sundays at 9.30 a.m. on Carib Vision. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day, because I'm certainly having one. And I just want to talk a little bit about the Excel project. The Excel project has been in my heart for so many years. I've launched it in 2014. And it's just, I've been asking God, when is this going to come forth? So I, I, I you know, since I joined the virtual network and, you know, in after the pandemic started in 2020, April, 2020, I mean, it's been a blessing. So little by little, it, things get unfolding. Oh my goodness. And I'm so excited to see it come to fruition. I love when I see a young man, a young woman doing something positive. Oh, I go out of my way to help them as much as I can because they really need somebody to push them and help them to grow and build. Yes. So we have the IAC accredited uh, certificate, certificate courses. Yes. And that's a, a standard continued education and training uh, it's a universal model for for um, helping for learning process excellence. So this is something that the students they get a certificate after they finish the program, so they feel good. So it's like a six month course, you know. And we have different people we'll be training them from different parts of where you don't have to be um, anywhere in the world. You can get this um, done. You get the, you can do this program. Sign up for this program. And it will certainly help you because, you know, we have to save our youth because the youth is our future in their lives because everybody is born with a purpose and a plan. But we got to find out what is it we need to do. I always talk to the students when I say to them, what is your passion? And some of them don't know what it is to have a passion. So I said to them, what is it you, when you were young? Let's go back to when you were young. What is it you like to do? You know, and I would sometimes it was kind of puzzled. So I kind of give a little, did you draw? Did you, um, you know, do little cartoons? Did you have a little journal? You draw some little papers you do. What is it you do? And they started thinking, did you like what you do? Did you write down, did you like to do portraits? You write down things that you were dealing with in your life. I mean, there there are things that you were doing and didn't realize it. Did you like to make things? Did you like to uh, pull things apart and put them back together? And then some of them say, yes, yes, I did that. Oh, so, so that's a passion. Did, did you like to sing? You like to dance, you know? And, and some of them say, yes, I like to cook. So there you go. Yeah. To you know those uh, um, who want who are writing books, the extra proud you book deal competition for ages 12 to 25 because their children out here that's writing books they have things in their in their thoughts you know and they write down things they don't realize that is actually a book they're actually writing you know so it's a good way to encourage them you know so it's we you can find the Excel Project dot com slash kids you know so it's it's a powerful program and this is encouraging them as well to be, you know, also help them to learn to how to be ent ent entrepreneurs. Okay, this is all part, we're developing entrepreneurs as well, you know, because they need to feel good about themselves. And it's so important, you know, and knowing that, you know, they have put something out there in society that even when they get older and they, oh my God, oh, didn't I see you somewhere, you know, and they make them feel famous, you know, and, and that's powerful. We want to make sure young people our future, you know, be all that they can be. And that's all that it is all about, you know. And we also have the IACET accredited CEU courses, which we did talk about early for earlier for professionals, ex-convicts, and seniors. Because we don't want to forget them as well, because the seniors um 
it's like a forgotten generation. You know, most children don't even, you know, people don't really think much about seniors. They really do a lot of harm to them. But we know we want to, seniors are very important to our society. You know, they are like the wisdom of our society. I call them the wisdom, the wisdom people, you know, and I really like sitting and talking to them and hear their stories because it's so important, you know, and the exit project is also to, to bridge that gap between the older generation and the younger generation. Okay. And it's so important for them to do this and ex convicts for them not to go back to what they do to, to re re uh, do crimes again, you know, redo crimes and go back to prison again, because prison is not a fun place to be. You know, so everybody sign up at the Excel project.com slash register, you know, it would be so great because I tell you, it's just an awesome thing, you know, to really uh, know that this uh, vocational training center is doing something to help, to enhance, you know, our young people, whatever they, they have already to enhance their growth and to push them into greatness, you know, because all of us, there's greatness in all of us. We know it's there. And we just got to educate our minds to be sincere, you know? So we got to, you know, change the way we think, you know, because we have to work as a team, you know, in order to help our young people to grow because our children are her future. And we got to make sure the future is bright and uh and we have to be the adults to help them to push them to where they need to be and thank you so much for listening and god bless underneath it all who are we sexually bible cufflinks and stilettos with giselle saint james for mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. I am just uh, hoping if someone uh, purchased this CD, it's, uh, it's called the Spiritual Erotic Expression of Love. Yes, uh, if this is mostly geared to couples, and this will help to inspire couples to uh, be more uh, mindful and be more appreciative of what God has given them. And it's, it's, it's a very good stimulator to build up yourself in the bedroom. Yes, it's highly sexual. Yes, so it has that mindset for you to think on uh, sex. That's what it's all about because God ordained it for marriage. So if you are married, you should be functioning at the junction. And this is... CD does help to stimulate your mindset. So if you have lost your buzz or lost your fizz or whatever it is, you better get right down dirty diggy with it. <laughs> Come on now. We're not going to neglect that part of our marital bed. Well, uh, we know a part of marriage is communication. You know, you're verbally talking. But also connected with your body is another form of communication as well. So this CD will certainly help you in that area. It will if you have a little little um little um slow in that area or something kind of offbeat and you kind of lose it, like I said before. Come on, put that spot back in there, honey, and get back on that horse. Okay? All right now. now I ain't joking now. This is real. Okay. God said, marriage is honorable, the bed is on the files, so you better work it. Come on, you got your husband, got your wife, work it. Make that bedroom spicy. Come on now, I'll work it. Because let me tell you something, God made marriage for a reason, and it's for us to enjoy each other 
So it's important for you to spend time in that place as well. Not only like I said before, communicating through mouth, con connecting with each other, you know, praying, doing different things, but also get jiggy in the bedroom, okay? So this CD will definitely help you in that area. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's kind of heavy. So if you got issues and got some, you know, uh, uh, things about sex, about your body parts, well, I don't know if you can listen to this, if you can contain yourself, because this is highly sexual. I ain't playing, okay? So uh, get your copy today at the website. Oh, trust me, it will blow your mind. You get a little, little tip of it at the, um, at the uh, website, but I want you to order it. And once the order comes through, I send the copy out to you. Uh, you just order it on the website. And it, the, the, you know, it's it's five dollars, and uh, you know, plus you pay shipping the handle to get it to you. So, and order one for you know your couples. You got your young people getting married. Thank God, some of them are getting married. Give them a copy in their, give them a copy of the CD in their um, in their gift bag or you know something, whatever you're doing. You know, throw a copy in there. Buy a few. You know, give out to married couples to spice up their relationship. All right, so thank you. God bless.